this video, we'll look at how to troubleshoot the log directory full warning in vCenter Server Appliance 6.0. This video is based on VMware Knowledge Base Article 2143565. This is a known issue affecting embedded vCenter Server Appliance 6.0 or Platform Controller Server Appliance 6.0. The workaround for this issue is to reduce the maximum backup size and the maximum backup index in the log4j property file. To make these changes, log into the vCenter Server Appliance RPSC console as a root user. In this case, we're using PuTTY SSH session. Run the following command to enable access to the bash shell. Run shell command to enter the bash shell mode. Navigate to the following directory, which contains the log4j property file. Run the following command to make a backup copy of the properties file. Next, we will open the log4j properties file to make the changes. We can do this by using the vi command. Locate the following line and change the value from 100 megabytes to 50 megabytes. In the next line, change the value from 10 to 5. Next, locate the line for perflog max backup index and change the value from 10 to 3. Save the changes to the file and exit. Next, we will restart the STS service by running the following command. Navigate to the following location and remove the old log files by running these commands. This concludes our look at how to troubleshoot the log directory full warning in vCenter Server Appliance 6.0. For additional video tutorials, subscribe to our KBTV YouTube channel and thank you for choosing VMware.